We started Little Leaf Farms because we have a mission to provide local produce uh, to people of New England and of the Northeast United States. The growing technology we have here is called nutrient film technology. It is growing uh, baby leaves on the surface of, uh, of, of essentially a little sponge, uh, a little mineral sponge that holds water. So we place seeds onto this medium, we call this medium rock wool, and we have the rock wool, a thin strip of rock wool in a plastic gutter, and we keep it in our greenhouse for 28 days. So perfect temperature, perfect humidity, right irrigation, right nutrient mix, all of these things uh, to create great growing conditions for plants. The problem is, is that the same growing conditions that are good for plants are also really good for algae. And algae competes with our plants, right in the little uh, plastic containers where we're growing our plants. It competes with plants for light, for nutrients, and for water. And so when algae grows faster, our plants grow slower. A really important piece of how we manage our water system and our growing system is making sure that our plastic growing gutters, that they get really clean between uses. We reuse them and after we harvest the plants, we gotta get them totally cleaned out and sparkling before we put new rock wool and new seeds in them and back into the greenhouse. And there are a number of ways that we could do that. Using really harsh chemicals would be one way and we've decided against that. That's not consistent with our mission and our values here. Previously, Little Leaf had been using a simple water rinse process to try to get the algae off their growing gutters, um, but since that wasn't working, they purchased a high pressure washer that they could use at a high temperature. The new pressure washer system could forcibly clean the algae off the gutters. Turi acted as a catalyst to help bring together Little Leaf and food safety experts at UMass Lowell so that they could partner together and work to find a solution to help them avoid the use of toxic chemicals at their facility. We have two trips um, to visit Little Leaf. Um, the first trip was to collect a baseline data from the old washer. We sampled the gutter before the washing and also post washing. So we're comparing the amount of algae removal from the old washer and that serves as our baseline. In our second trip, uh, the new pressure washer was installed and was functional. So we tested different temperature settings in the new pressure washer and we did the same thing. We compared the pre-wash after post-wash and the differences is the amount of algae removed from the new pressure washer. Primarily three objectives. So the first one, we want to know if the new pressure washer is um, is better than the old one. And the second objective is we want to test different temperatures and to see if we have an optimal temperature that they can use in their routine operations. And the third objective is um, if there's no significant variation among temperatures, we can recommend a minimum temperature so they don't overuse the energy in their routine operations. After we bring the sample back from Little Leaf, we actually perform additional analysis at UMass Lowell. We use a microscope uh, and hemocytometer where we can actually count the amount of algae cells in the sample that we collected. So this gives us more um, definitive answers to the concentration or the amount of algae that we can collect from the gutter. From our preliminary data, it seems to us it's very obvious that the new pressure washer is, has much better performance than the old washing systems. We don't see a huge differences among the temperature settings that we tested. I think our recommendation in the end could very likely be you can use a minimum temperature in your new pressure washer so you have a better performance in terms of removing the algae. In the meantime, you don't waste your energy to heat up the water in the pressure washer. What looks like a clean gutter might not actually be a clean gutter. Right? You really need the thing spotless and it needs to be spotless beyond what we can see. So to have a resource like Turi that can come in and do some of the verification to say, yes, this is actually super clean versus, hey, actually you missed a little bit of algae and you need to keep working on it there, that's really useful. And the solutions that we come up with to grow lettuce around here, they have to be scalable and they have to be sustainable. And the big part of the sustainable part is it has to be in line with our values. And the solution that we're working with Turi on, which is physical means of removing our algae, 
that's both of those things, right? It's going to work when we double the size of our greenhouse, but it's also sustainable. If we double the size of our greenhouse at twice as many gutters, we would need twice as much chemicals. That doesn't work for us. So to have that sort of local resource who shares our values, shares our company's values about toxic use reduction, that really means a lot to us.